Hey everybody, it's Jennifer and Steve here. Hi. And we are taking a look at our prickly ash, which is in the citrus family. And I know it's kind of hard to distinguish from all these other plants around us, but I'll show you up here. We are behind our house and we planted these prickly ash a few years ago on purpose because the giant swallowtail butterfly loves to lay her eggs on here. And I'm gonna just show you some and yes, you might think, well, that doesn't look like anything. But take a look here. And let's take a look. Let me just move over here. Right here. And the reason you think you might think these don't look like anything is because these are bird dropping mimics to, for protection. So Steve's counted how many? At least a dozen. So at least a dozen giant swallowtail caterpillars here on our prickly ash. These have been in place for a few years. And last year we saw a giant swallowtail get up here um, and, and I guess in this part of Ohio and start laying her eggs. So I think we might now have a breeding population here. I'm sure these guys are like a lot of the swallowtails and this generation will probably overwinter in the chrysalis stage. So this is so exciting for us. See, it really is planet and they will come. Now I'm gonna show you one other plant that we have here for the giant swallowtails and we'll go look at that right now. Okay, now we are here looking at our hop tree, which I think I've shown in years past. And right off the bat, I don't even see this caterpillar that I have been seeing for the past few days. It was right on top. And it could very well be in a molting stage right now, or it could have been eaten, I don't know. Maybe the bird dropping mimicry didn't work. But I wanted to just make a point here because we do have this plant, which is also in the citrus family, and we had one caterpillar. And on those two prickly ash, there's at least a dozen. And the whole reason we planted prickly ash was because many, many years ago when we first met, we were hiking at Lindenwood Nature Preserve in Indiana and there were dozens and dozens of these caterpillars on the prickly ash and we were so enthralled and excited that one plant could do this and so just in our observation right here right now whether it's true or not I don't know but they definitely seem to prefer prickly ash versus our hop tree I guess it could also be location but either way plant some host plants for your butterflies and then of course some nectar plants Steve's over there. That's how close it is to the prickly ash. And you will get some really cool life if you do those things.